welkom by ons gouwe jare met die uwe André Walters. Ons gouwe jare is een gereelde wekelikse half uur hier op die gunstling radiostasie. Vir ouwe mense en hulle kinders en kleinkinders, so dat hulle ook kan verstaan wat die uitdagings is van ouwe word. Kan jy glo, hoe stap die tyd aan? Dis episode 52 van ons gouwe jare. A jylle, jylle jaar. <laughs> dit voel vir my soos a, a oogwink. En ek moet sê, ek het dit baie geniet. Geniet dit nog steeds. En hoop dat jylle geniet dit ook. Ek gaan aan die einde van die program, sal ek weer die adres geef waar jylle vir my kan skrywe, op Facebook, Ek hoor baie graag van julle om te hoor wat julle dink van ons gouwe jare en wat ek kan doen om dinge beter te maak. Maar, nou ja, in hierdie uitgave neem ek my gesprek met uh, SAAP, South African uh, Association of Retired Persons, of SAVA, South Afrikaanse Vereniging van Afgetredenis, my gesprek met Ray Hatting, wat in die beheer staan van hulle sociale clubs, Dis die tweede deel van my gesprek met hom en ons gesal daarmee afsluit vandag. En uh, in die nostalgie geloof, hier is een groot verrassing. Randall Wickham wat vertel, baie lekker vertel, waar die lied ek dans met die rooie rock vandaan kom. En uh, dan sing hy dit, iets om nou uit te sien. Anthony Free John, acteur, schrijver, regisseur, een man van formaat op die verhoog, gesels verder oor sy loopbaan en sy leven. En Frans was stemmet, gesels ook weer lekker oor boerderate. Ons val weg. Dit is Profiel. Profiel kyk elke week na organisaties wat daarop ingestel is om ons ouwer mense te help. I'm talking to Ray Hutton of the SAP SAARP Social Clubs. SAP stands for South African Association of Retired Persons. Hello there, Ray, and welcome again for the second part of our chat. Well, I put in one of my newsletters, don't be one of those people which your epitaph will say, born 1920, died 1940, buried 2010. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's what clubs do for you. They keep you going to 2010. And you've got uh, uh, newsletters, club letters. Huh? It, it started off as a club newsletter that I sent out. We now send it out to all our emails. And every individual club has their own internal newsletter. Wow. Which also appears, most of them appear on our website as well. All right, now, if I can come back to SAP just for a moment. Yes, certainly. The South African Association of Retired Persons. Um, membership is free. Yes. I've just discovered that. My wife and I have joined. Jolly good. Uh, and, um, and you get a card. Yes. Uh, which you can present to prove, <laughs> if you still look like 20, yes. to, to prove that you're a, a <laughs> retired person. You're right. And... Uh, and uh, I've I've now myself, uh, SAP is dealing with with my uh, funeral insurance, mm. uh, dealing with my short term insurance. I've just uh, re- replaced my uh, my old Jeep with 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 an even older Mercedes Benz. Right. Now that car is a 1998 uh, E280 Elegance. It's a beautiful car, but look, it's going to break down. So I want some kind of insurance, and yes. and SAP is providing me with that. Yes. Not only that, but Pete Matia, who is your chairman and a, and a lawyer, is um, is is now looking into into my last will and testament, my wife's last will and testament, and doing it at a tr- tremendous uh, discount. Yes. So what I'm really saying to you, Ray, is that who can afford not to be a member of SAP, especially if you think of, 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 of the three reasons, the, the three main challenges, according to Professor Sid Eckley, the three main challenges of getting older are, first of all, money. Uh, yes. Money didn't last as long as you thought it would. Yes. Secondly, uh, health issues. Yes. And thirdly, a crushing boredom, loneliness. Yes. Yes. Those are the three great challenges. And what your club is now doing is is helping with the third one, and I would imagine also for the first two. Because if, you're, if your mind is engaged, mm. then it, it, it's easier for your body to stay up. 
Absolutely, Andre. Absolutely. And we've uh, been talking of, of, of insurance as well. We, we have one, one club has taken up our offer so far. We've said to them, if X number of people in your club take the insurance through us, we will pay you a percentage of the monthly commission income we get. Wow. So the club is actually able to, to lower their annual fees. Sure. What I should be doing seriously, if I had more time, is I should start an Our Golden Years Club. Yes. Uh, where, where, we, where we have all our listeners come together on a regular basis and share stories. And I record those stories and broadcast them. It's, it's <laughs> tremendous. It's uh, tremendous. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, as you know, it's only a busy, per, busy person who has time to do that, and you're a busy person, so you can manage it. <laughs> yeah, that's the old saying. It comes from my younger days. If you want something done, find a busy person. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yes. Ray, thank you so much. It was really interesting talking to you about this. Uh, and uh, good luck with, 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 with the, with the uh, um, social clubs. Thank you, Andre, and I look forward to your oldie talks. Ray, thank you so much. It's been wonderful speaking to you. It's a pleasure, Andre. Thank you for your trouble. Thank you. And have a lovely day. And you too. Thank you. Dit was Ray Hatting gewees na Masaba, Suid-Afrikaanse Vereniging vir Afgetredenis, Sy Sociale Clubs. Wonderlijke dinge wat hulle doen, rechtig waar. Hier is Randall Wickham, nog altyd een van my gunstelingsangers. Hy gesels eers om te sê waar die lied vandaan kom, dan sing hy dit. Ek dans met die rooie rook. Nou, in Lourdesfontein, dis hier langs die weskus op, is een baie speciale Afrikaner, een baie geharde Afrikaner, baie, baie speciaal. En daar het ons een man tegenkom in die naam van oom Klaasie Lou, is een boer al in, in sy tachtigs. En toe vir hom die vraag gevra word, wat die liekie sy kan onthou, van ongeveer die, die tijdperk van die Eerste Wereldoorlog, wat sy pa of opa daar gesing het, wat hy kan onthou. Toe sê hy, ja, ek onthou een liekie, een prachtige liekie, maar ek kan nie meer die vers, dat hy nie nog net die koor onthou. En hy sing toe vir ons die koor, een prachtige, ongelooflike koor. En hierdie professor het toe, dit sy werk gemaakt om op te spoor, waar was hier die vers, waar kon staan, hoe, wie ken het nog dat? En na jare sy soek toch, Toe ontdek in Heidelberg Transvaal een man met die naam van Ben Spies en Ben Spies reageert op die vraag Ek kan een liekie Ek onthou nog net die versies maar nie meer die koor nie En toen ons hier die liekie wat getuig van die tijdperk in ons geschiedenis toe die manskap in die vier provincies opgekommandeer is om te gaan be- beklei in Zuid-West-Afrika Duitsvest is lekker, Duitsvest is goed, Duitsvest is vol van die boerkies en bloed. Al trek ons onder water en trek ons onder kos, dan weet ons die boerkies, hulle gaan ons verlos. Dans met die rooi rok, die aardland van my, dit is die rooi rok, dit is die mooie rok, dit is die rooi rok van my. Ons commandantje is een kleine jubel. Hij trekt met ons haastig, hij trekt met ons vuil. Hij trekt hier die bosbrand met zijn grote gevaar. Ons hempies is stakken, ons broekjes is klaar. Maar dan is die roeirok, die aardland van mij. Het is die roeirok, het is die mooie rok, het is die roeirok van mij. Kamer de lange zorkes, hoi hoi! Het is die roeirok, het is die mooie rok, het is die roeirok van zwaai. Klein commandantje en een groot generaal. En het trekt met ons daar uit de ver westerns vaal. Ons druk jy sy soepie, en gaan ons weer weg. Dan gaan ons so moedig, tegen die plakbote weg. Dans met die rooi rok, 
die hart lam van mij. Dus die roeirok, dus die moeirok, dus die roeirok van wij. Daar we de lange zorg is. Hoi, hoi! Dus die roeirok, dus die moeirok, dus die roeirok van zwaai. Mijn dierkie die huil nou, haar hartkie blus. Soek liefst nie hier nie, maar ver in Duits wes. Duits wes word donker, Duits wes word goed. Duits wes word donker, van die Jermanse bloed. Dals met die roeirok, die hartlam van my. Dis die roeirok, dis die moeirok, dis die roeirok van my. Dans met die roeirok, die hart lam van my. Dis die roeirok, dis die moeirok, dis die roeirok wat wij. Daar we de lange zorg is, hoi hoi. Dis die roeirok, dis die moeirok, dis die roeirok wat zwaai. Dit was Randall Wickham met Ek Dans met die roeirok. En nou is het tijd vir ons onderhoud van die week. Ons gesels na alle rukkie met Anthony Friedjohn, lekker sin vir hem hoor, acteur, schrijver, regisseur, al daarie dinge en uh, st- staan op die toppunt van sy loopbaan nog steeds. I think if you get older, your, your pain threshold also changes. Um, when you're a kid, you're playing rugby. You know, you get you get bruised on the Saturday. It's yeah, gone by the yes, Monday. Yes, yes. But as we get older, the bruises linger. Yeah, look at me. I've got I've got sharp cupboard handles in in my house. And I'm. Are you on warfarin? I, I was on warfarin, yeah. but but that was four or five years ago. Yeah. No, our, our blood is thinner, and mm. um, these little marks me of generally playing with my dog or the cat. Yeah, but like you walking into doors and things. Yeah, that marks here, you know. That marks here, yeah. Um, no, it's just the, the reality of life is that one has got older. You can either battle on, trying to be as positive as possible, or you go in a corner and die. Well, I'm not going to go into a corner and die. I mean, you're still doing this. Yes, because now, I don't want to go in a corner and die. The you know, even thing. if if I were to suddenly win the lotto and get I don't know, 20, 30, 40 million, yeah. I wouldn't stop working. Exactly. Well, to wake I've, up in the morning and, ach, I don't have to get up today, yeah. and just sleep until 10, 11 in the morning. No. This is this is now episode number 41 or something like yeah. this. I've been trying to land sponsorships, and not very successfully, and then suddenly I realized that if, if I don't earn a penny with this, then then I'll still keep on doing it because it's become a ministry for me. It, it, I'm, I'm actually helping older people to get older more gracefully. Well, you know, I don't know what is defined as old these days. I I don't like being called old. I've the, the word got is, to accept the word old is ageism. Ageism it's, I've bumped into because I'm older. I, I've the word been, is older. Yeah. Well, I suppose we are elderly. We certainly ain't kids. But it, it's what irritates me is when you get a phone call from an advertising agency and they say this young girl says to me, can you do an old voice? <laughs> and you think to yourself, yes, I can do an old voice. And how old do you want? And she said, 60. And you go, ach, no, man, you're an idiot. Because from, you know, your early to mid-twenties, where your voice sort of stabilizes, until you get to the age where your diaphragm goes, you don't yeah. have the muscle. Yeah. How old do you sound? I mean, you know, your voice, it's patently obvious you're not a child of pimples. No, no. But to say, oh, I don't know, he's... Mm. Well, it depends. You want me to take my teeth out? <laughs> yeah, you know, you're obviously, what, <laughs> older than 40, 50, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I can't say, ah, you're exactly 79. Yeah. Ridiculous, you know. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, ah, no, anyway. <clears throat> you, well, you bump into ageism, um... Uh, let's not bring up racism because that's another discussion. Yeah, we're just jobbing actors, you know, jobbing mm-hmm. broadcasters, actors. Uh, yeah. Love what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I uh, 
I've I've always admired your career. You've 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 been coming a long time, and you've done wonderful work. What would you say is is or, or, or are some some of the top uh, stage plays that, that 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 you remember most fondly? Um, Tally's Folly, which I, is a two-hander I did with Dorothy Ann Gould. Yeah, stunning script. Bobby Heaney directing. Uh, and that's an interesting play in the term in terms of the Lanford Wilson, the writer. Obviously, they workshopped that play over a length of time because the opening line is addressing the audience, and you say, "They tell me we've got ninety-seven minutes here tonight." If we did the play as written, as directed, it was ninety-seven minutes. If you went to ninety-eight, mm, okay, ninety-nine. The whole pace had just slowed down. Yeah. I mean, can you believe it? Two minutes out of 97 yeah. can actually affect the entire flow of the evening. Absolutely. Equally, 96, you're okay. 95, ooh, ooh. 94, you've gabbled. Yeah. That level of precision and, and working with a wonderful actress uh, and amazing script, wonderful director, uh, that was a, an experience I'll never forget. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross was just a, a David Mamet, and he's a nightmare to do because you've got to learn his punctuation. Uh -huh. If you don't lo learn his punctuation, you lose the rhythm of what is being said. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of others now, I suddenly go blank here. Uh, Romance was another Mamet play I did, I don't know, five, six years ago. Are, are you still working on stage? When they want an, uh, an old actor, then they will... Yeah, have, They'll have come and been, find him. haven't <clears throat> been offered anything in the last five years. No, I haven't I've been offered any movies either. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, uh, I have a great face for radio. Um, <laughs> yeah, no movies. I mean, television, I think of that wonderful... Uh, Glenn, uh, <laughs> there goes the brain. Uh, the Big Time, Gray yes. Hoffmeyer wrote and directed. Yes, yes. That was an absolute delight. I mean, he is an insane director. I say that with the greatest love and respect. Yeah. You're filming in a kitchen not much bigger than this studio. And he suddenly says, what if I put tracks in a dolly for this shot? <laughs> and instead of saying, Gray, you're mad. There's no space. You say, okay, we'll try it because you trust the man. You yeah, know, yeah. as you know as an actor, yeah. is that trust in a director. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't trust you, the director... The Andre, player. I want you to wear that funny hat and you yeah. think... Oh. But I trust his judgment. He's yes. not going to let me look like a fool. Yeah. I did another wonderful play, Bobby directing, called The Faith Healer, which was me... Erica Rogers and Joe Stewartson, but all monologues yeah. discussing our lives together. And it's rather like the Rashomon story of what is the truth? This mm. is my version, your version, and somebody else's. And between the three of us is a mm. truth. And I'm trying to think now, this is one of the lovely things about not being a kid anymore. Why did I start off on Faith Healer, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dit was Anthony Friedjohn, het bijlegger gesels oor sy leven. Volgende week gesels ons verder. Ons gouwe jare is een gereelde wekelijkse half uur hier op die gunst lang radiostatie. Vir ouwe mense en hulle kinders en kleinkinders, so dat hulle ook kan verstaan wat die uitdagings is van ouwe wat. graag bykie gesels lees eindelijk uh, uit uh, die nieuwsbrief van Sava die Suid-Afrikaanse Vereniging vir Afgetreden is. Dit gaan oor avoid food contamination. Sê vir my paar dinge wat ek nie geweet het nie. Wash salad, especially from pre-packs. 
The BBC reported that an E. coli outbreak killed two and infected more than 150 people in the UK. Many of those struck down by the E. coli 0157 bug had eaten pre-packed salad, including rocket leaves. The infection can cause bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain. People usually notice uh, symptoms three to four days after they've been infected, but symptoms can start any time between one and fourteen days afterwards and last for up to two weeks. Some people will have no symptoms, but others can develop serious complications and will need medical help. So, how to avoid E. coli infection? Wash your hands thoroughly after using the toilet before and after handling food and after handling animals. Hey, Xeo, remove any loose soil before storing vegetables and salads. Wash all vegetables and fruits that will be eaten raw. Store and prepare raw meat and unwashed vegetables away from ready-to-eat foods. Do not prepare raw vegetables with utensils that have also been used for raw meat. Cook all minced meat products, such as burgers and meatballs, thoroughly. People who have been ill should not prepare food for others for at least 48 hours after they have recovered. Let the mess dunk now. And you have all your own onderwerp to verander. Hier is nou in die cellen nieuwsbrief is daar een opschrift wat sê remarrying, a dream or a nightmare, vraagteken. Second or third marriages later in life can create a variety of challenges, so if you're thinking of walking down the aisle again, keep these things in mind. What's it going to take? It takes some planning to determine how tying the knot is going to affect all your assets, how long to prepare, you need long enough to make sure you understand how marriage will affect your finances and to discuss how you want things to work. It's also important to realize that this, this is the person who usually becomes the default decision maker in the event that you are incapacitated. Do it now. Find out what marriage means in your area. Laws differ in different areas. Review your pension, your government benefits. Depending on where you live and your situation, marrying could affect the benefits you're receiving. And consider a prenuptial agreement. This is a document that clearly specifies what happens in case the marriage doesn't work out. <laughs> Remember, if it's not written and in a legal binding document, it means nothing. Discuss estate planning and other wishes. You'll need to modify any estate planning documents already in place to reflect your new family situation or create new ones. Do it later. Revisit your beneficiaries. Once you tie the knot, go back through all of your accounts with beneficiaries and make sure the beneficiaries are still whom you want them to be. And do it smarter. Sit down with your family. Let your children know what's happening with your family finances and how your marriage will affect them. I say, that come out the SAP, South African Association of Retired Persons, sa nieuwsbrief, baie interessante leeswerk. Nou, die goeie nieuws is dat Sava met die hele proces kan help. Ga na www.sarp.net en dis gratis, sluit by hulle aan en laat hulle jou met die hele proces help. Boederate met Frans Wastemmet Ek wil jou een grapje vertel, hoe weet jy, jy is oud? <laughs> Dus wanneer je je dokter niet meer nodig hebt om zijn notas na te slaan, om te weten wat je laatst bij b- b- hem was niet. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Jij praat van brandnetel. Dat is ons onderwerp vier week. Dat is brandnetel. Right. André, een brandnetel was voor ons als kinders een vreselijke interessante ding. 
Dit loop sal jy wil weet hoe hy lyk. Hy het lang dun stammetjies wat so omtrent 30 tot 40 centimeter hoog groei. Ongeveer. Aha. Jy nou baie mooi kompos en gooi gaan dit dan hoer groei. Maar ons het in die veld geplik. Ja. Dit was een onkruid in die kap. Ja. Ons het in die veld geplik en sy blare lyk baie soos een mintblaar. Jy het gewone mint wat jy in jou ja, tuin groei. Ja, ja. Lyk baie so. Maar oor wie? <laughs> ons het hom op die grond afgeplik en dan vat jy so 5 of 6 van hulle in jou hand en dan slaat jy die ander ons oor hulle bene daarmee man <laughs> dis waar die woord brand ja. vandaan kom ja dit, dit brand soos vier hoor ja. en dit maak sikke aardige rooi bloed rooi vlekke man amper soos van ek is blij ek het jou nie gekend hoe klein was nie <laughs> nie ons het om terug in elke hand in rooi bene gaan slaap maar dit gaan weer weg nou ja Daar in Ashtonse district in die Weeskap het ons dit so geplik. En toe het my maase bediende, ou Sophie het vir my maan gesê, vir ons gesê, jylle moet nie die goed so op die manier gebruik nie, moet om eet. Ons sê, ach nee Sophie, dit kan nie werk nie. Toe wees jy vir ons. Sy plik dit, bonnels, en uh, dan kook sy dit soos marog. Dan gooi jy sout en peper daar in, en as jy wil, kan jy bykie room aangooi. Maar in die destijdse zwart gemeenskappe, het hulle nie by een room gehad nie. Ja. So, hulle het nou maar sout en peper by gegooi. Die Grieke het een soortgelijke ding wat hulle kook, hulle noem het gorta. Aha. Nou, al twee daai goed brandmetels en gorta smaak by een soos spinazie. Jy weet, in die brand, hulle moet nie worry nie, die brand is helemaal weg as jy hom gekook het. As een kind wou ek, ek het het hoogstens net geproe een keer. Ja. Maar ons moet onthou, vir een kind is alles wat groen is, is gif. Jy kan om nie eet nie. <laughs> nou, brandnetels kom oor die hele VSA in Europa voor. Hier by ons vermoed ek is dit eindelijk meer in die Westkap. Maar kom ons neem nou die dinge waarvoor het aange- aangewend word. Dit is een lang lees. Acne, allergie, anemie, met ander woorde bloedarmoede, arthritis, asma, bronchitis, celluliet, van alle dinge celluliet, heel damage <laughs> verkouwes, hoes, diarree eksiem, moegheid kosallergie jig, hoekoors hoofdpijn, hartversaking aanbeie hypertensie, onvrugbaarheid klem in die kaak nierontsteking, nierstene nachtsweet, obesiteit met ander woorde vreedziekte premenstriale syndroom prostatitis, soriase Rheumatiek, sinusitis, tuberculose, blaasinfeksie, spatare. En vir die manne, dit word ook gebruik teen haar verlies. Man, ek moet het kry nie daarvoor. Ek weet nie of brandnetel in enige vorm, as jy dit wil soek in een apteek of een gezondheidswinkel, vraag maar vir stinging netel, ek weet nie of daar producte in die apteek beskikbaar is nie, maar as jy familie het nie kap, ja, het loon maar vir jou kry. En ek vermoed, jy kan hom ook droog maak en trek. Maar, vir my is die meest aanvaardbare manier van brandnetel, as jy hom kan kook, so spinazie. Nou ja, daar, soos ek sê, is die probleem dat jy moet toegang het tot die vars product. En dis nie altyd moendlik nie. Ja, ja. En nog een ding wat interessant is, die hele plant word gebruik. Hoi, dankie vir ons, maar soos altyd, baie lekker, ons gesels volgende week verder oor Boerder Aate. Ek het beloof, omdat hierdie episode 52 is, en ons nog die hele jaar in die gang is, het ek gesê, ek gaan die adres gee, waar jylle met my kan skakel. Ek sal baie graag oor, wat dink jylle van ons gouwe jare, na 52 episodes, en as jylle enige voorstelle het, dan sal ek daarna luister. Goed, dit is www.facebook.com voor in de skuinstrip, en nou wat volg is, een woord klein letterkies, ons gouwe jare. En dis dit, klik daarop, skryf my, ek hoor baie graag vir julle. Nou ja, tot volgende week, is dit hou kop, hou koers, en hou uit.